I thought I'd take advantage of the light being out to show you my update on my tomatoes and see they're just starting to turn a different color and I've had to prop some of them up and um, I'm worried about the weight actually and it's really hard I wanted to really show you all these tomatoes in here but um, I'm battling against that light and also there's going to be a lot of noise here in a minute I'm going to have to battle with but look at that little fellow there too I am so taken I named him Herman I dropped him to the floor which is quite a big distance from the light which made me worry well of course because it was getting enough light before but all of this here was all crunched over like this underneath the light so it has really sprung up and really opened up kind of like a fern and done really well but being into solar and stuff I've been trying to use the solar panel at the level that I dropped it down to to try to power up my battery and it's not working so I bought it up here and I got a little bit more power today but it seems to be happy and healthy and um, I can always, because it has pulleys, drop the light down if I need to. And I put my can of there, and you can't see it very well, but my mother gave me that little home stone to put in here. And I moved my purple habanero over here. And my father brought me, this is freaking frack, and they have jalapenos. And they got whacked. I don't remember where he got them from. But I brought him back, and my other jalapeno I've had for a year, and he has not grown. So we're going to pot him up. And what I had done with the habaneros, which these are my purple ones, I moved them over here from where they were, and I think it was more sun, and I kind of shocked them, and a lot of the blooms fell off. And sadly, when I pinched some of the blooms, they did have a little bit of a pepper inside, but I'm hoping... I just keep moving it, you know, a little bit, because he's in a funny place, but see all those blooms? I'm really hoping this works out well. I know the jalapeno will. And of course, you know, my aloe vera, and I have my Stella plant over here. And uh, I just wanted to show you a couple more additions, but you know, I am just totally thrilled about this tomato plant. And all I used was miracle Grow. I know I could have gone with a lot of different stuff, but I really didn't want to. And that mud flap, come here, sweetheart. That mud flap I got is for boots when you come in from the snow. And it's the only thing I could find that would fit underneath here. And you really can't use a smaller container when you're growing tomatoes. And they do require a lot of water. Now I'm gonna show you the rest of my things. I'm really sorry really sorry I wish I had everything on a light cycle together but because I'm not that tech savvy on anything when something actually works I leave it alone but my Christmas cactus is doing well and look uh, he's still trying to search out the top of the canopy and he's branching out this is one of my most interesting plants and our impatience are doing well. I am sorry about the light, but the other light is stronger and bothers me more. But my impatience seems to know when it's spring, and they're doing much better. And my green onions, I have some more that I let go in the refrigerator, so I'm going to plant those. And my sago palm seems to be doing rather well. And this, well, my grandchildren call a fire stick and it's hard to see in this lighting but this was my Easter gift from them and I thought how fun because I've never had enough lighting in my house even without all the windows covered to grow even a potho, potho. and this is the jalapeno I've had for a year and this is all he's done and while I really don't want to kill him um, well, he's going to have to get less light because there's other things that need to take his place. We're going to end up, you know, adding a bell 
and I'm going to do a black cherry, uh, it's called Cherokee, cherry tomato, and um, add a couple of more peppers, and I can't go crazy, and believe me, I can really set this place up with a lot of plants. Well, with that, I believe I will close, because that's all that I really have to update with other than you know I keep getting more and more blooms and I'll do another update in a couple more weeks because believe me if you see all of these ties in here and these wooden bamboo things I've really had to tie it up because they're so heavy but this has worked out rather well for me and is going to go with my theme I'm redoing my house in an Italian villa because I found a way to make all these things grow in the house, and my house says nothing else but come in and have something to eat, and maybe a cup of coffee. We're going with that theme, and I'm gonna have peppers and tomatoes growing on pillars in different areas throughout the house. So I will be literally growing in my house when I'm using in my kitchen. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye. Until next time. And hopefully when we come back, maybe it'll be a little bit more red. I've never been a green tomato person, but I'm just excited. That's my biggest guy. Really, really excited that I had a plan that actually came together. And, um, oh, here's some more little tomatoes. See, he's really trying to turn red. So let's hope by the next time I do mine, you'll see red tomatoes, and then we'll do the ultimate test by cutting it open and seeing what it looks like inside. Until then, enjoy the holiday that's coming, and enjoy life, and be nice to one another, and I always keep my little tomatoes in mind, and thanks for caring, because... I notice there's about 80 of you that actually care whether or not I grow a tomato in my house. And at this point in time in my life, and during this COVID season, that means something to me. So I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week and a wonderful Mother's Day.